she lobbied the folks on the board and said, here, Thomas Cloud Park's the perfect spot, and here's why. She was the better salesperson on that. So I don't hold any... I don't hold any grudges, but I don't hold any ill will toward that at all. I don't think it's the right park. And I still don't think it's the right park for a veterans memorial. It changed locate throughout the whole, like throughout August, even it changed different locations throughout because they hadn't done the due diligence to place the memorial in Thomas Cloud Park. They had to find a place throughout August to make it work. Because that was the location no matter what. Because if you had paid attention to that, at first it was, the argument was, this memorial has to be visible. So we're going to place it up by the flagpole. This memorial has to be visible, so we're going to place it up on top of the hill. Then they found a gas line that ran through. So, oh, we can't do that. we got to put it down. And the only spot left was right at that end of the parking lot. As you drive in and you curve around to the right, you come into the parking lot, turn right, go in, and there's a little piece of green space with trees lining it and a, like a, a kind of dog legs to the right in between the maintenance shed and a parking lot. And then in between that is a walking path so they made it fit but was the due diligence done to place it there or was it done to find the best place for the memorial it's said and done so that argument doesn't even work anymore it it, it, it can't be argued anymore the city went the way they wanted to go so with that being said, the next meeting I attended, I, you know, at that point, they, they put it on the back burner. All right. We'll come, we'll revisit this. And they did at a work session. And there was a lot of discussion selling this idea of Thomas Cloud Park. And I was sitting there fuming, going, I can't believe some of this stuff's being said because it's not true. They, I believe it was started off. And I played this on the podcast where they said, Everyone is in agreement that Thomas Cloud Park is the best park. When I had listened to the parks and rec meeting, where it was six to two, six folks didn't believe Thomas Cloud Park was okay. Two folks did agree, Thomas Cloud. But there, from the folks that I have talked to, and I've talked to a lot of folks, not many of them agree Thomas Cloud Park is a good place to put the memorial. It's, that's where it's going, and we're all going to stand behind that. Just because you disagree with something doesn't mean you're not going to support something. So that's another item we need to make clear. So let me play this next clip because I was frustrated at this meeting. I could not even think straight, but I had to ask, <laughs> ask a few questions. Here's what they were. Any other questions or Okay, yeah, Mr. Truman. I didn't see your hand in between the... <laughs> That's okay. Mr. Mayor, okay. Um, yes. when was the, uh, the new commission enacted? I'm, it was earlier, the, well, I was thinking February, March of this year, maybe, yeah. I think. Yeah. February. It was enacted in February. Uh, do you know how long um, HHVP researched all of that? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Since 2015. We held our meetings out of the VFW, and I know uh, the commission since February, so that's seven months. How long have they been researching the memorial? I would assume that was uh, a couple months. A couple months, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And I've had uh, personal conversations with you prior to the commission being enacted, correct? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so at, at that point, I had sat through an hour of discussion on the memorial location, the memorial location. So let's. And I heard things like there were folks in the different 
uh, military organizations throughout town who were uh, talked with about this location. I heard just a number of things. So I was there and I was thinking to myself, look, we every HHVP every month for like three years, we met at the VFW. We talked with those folks. Um, we had an officer, and I'm not going to start naming names, but we had an officer of the VFW working with HHVP out getting this information for us about where a good location would be. I can't remember one time where Thomas Cloud Park ever came up other than one council member. We talked about that earlier. So at that point, sitting through an hour of that discussion where where some members of city council, the city manager, the mayor were selling Thomas Cloud Park to all, to everyone during the work session. So I was a little like, why is this happening? I mean, this isn't, this isn't what I remember when we were working toward this effort. And we had been doing this for since 2015, like I mentioned during that. I asked the question, when did the commission form? It formed in February of this year. When did they start looking toward a location? Two months ago. So I wanted to know, I wanted everyone to know, look, do the due diligence. I don't think it's been done yet. And I still don't think it's been done yet. I don't take that away from anybody. The folks, they, they settled on Thomas Claw Park. That's what they fought for. That's what they went for. It, that's where it's at. And I'm okay with that. I don't agree with it, but guess what? I have to be okay with that because that's where it's going to be. And I'm going to sit there like I wrote in a, a Facebook post, sit there. I don't care who gets credit for it. I never wanted any credit for anything. I'll sit there silently in the back, salute that glorious flag, And be fine. The members of the military who serve this great nation, who serve this great city, will have a memorial in the city of Huber Heights. And in the end, that's really all that matters. But when forming Huber Heights Veterans Project, I had a duty to stand up and speak for all the work that we did put put into it. And to go against some of these politicians who promised us the world and delivered nothing. Nothing. So if I'm upset about anything, it's politicians who bullshit us. And not not just HHVP, but bullshit the entire city and sell us on things that just isn't what it seems. So... If anything, doing this podcast and doing all the other podcasts is to try to bring some light, some transparency to the whole process, help you understand and get involved so things like building a or buying a a piece of property for $3.7 million isn't just set up as an emergency sent through that the folks that the politicians that are elected actually know, hey, we have to give our residents time for us to vote on things or they're not going to put up with it. We have to explain this to our residents before we go out and spend their money. It's your money. Anywho, I can go on a tangent all day on on transparency and uh, (laughs) doing things right in the city. And... Having, I almost said literally again, having the true sense of people, not politics. So I'm going to play the last time I was there. So when I got frustrated listening to an hour-long discussion on selling Thomas Cloud Park, I wanted to say so much more, and I get you can probably hear that in there, but... I didn't. I held back and I just asked those questions. And I said, Mr. Mayor, you and I have had personal conversations. And we did. As I believe I explained earlier. There were promises made. And promises not kept. You know, I would respect him a little more if he would have even... I mean, he sent me messages telling me what a piece of crap I was. 
But he's never, he could have sent a message saying, because I'm, I disagree with politics, I'm a piece of crap. Okay, whatever. But I would have respected him a little more if he would have said, look, Matt, I think we can do a lot more with this thing if I create a veterans, a military and veterans commission. I, I may have been a little disappointed, like, you know, well, we got this thing. But I would have understood because at the time I was in Texas. I knew I was coming back. And I knew I was going to get right back on this thing. We tried some, a few things when I'm in Texas, but it's a long way away. It's hard to do. So there are some things with that that I don't discount. It would have been nice because we did have personal conversations on, on this for a while. Hey, I'm, I, I need to do, I, I am with you on this. I want to build this memorial. I want all this stuff, other stuff to happen. I, I'm going to do this commission. I just wanted you to know. Wouldn't that have been common courtesy? Decent? I th- I think so. I think that would have been decent. So I'm going to play. So after being frustrated, back to the original point, back to being frustrated at that meeting and, and listening to some members of council and, and city uh, executives sell the idea of Thomas Cloud Park being the perfect spot, I decided to write something for the next meeting just to get out fully or as close to fully as I could my thoughts on the whole situation. Here that is. Hello. Thank you. Um, I wrote down some stuff this time so I didn't ramble. Uh, So... I am Matt Truman. Uh, I used to chair the Hubertz Veterans Project. I am also a combat veteran uh, with the United States Army. And I wrote some stuff down here so I could uh, deliver that to the mayor and council today. This memorial is bigger than me. This is bigger than the mayor, his commission, the city manager, staff, council, all of us. It's bigger than all of us. The city has now a great responsibility. This is not just some project that should be looked at as all the other things throughout the city. This is not a, this is not building a road. This is not providing water pressure. This is not giving a subsidy. This has something more real attached. This project is recognized, is to recognize those who were willing to do whatever it takes to defend our republic, to defend all of us from those who are willing to do whatever it takes to destroy our way of life. We are last in this endeavor. All surrounding cities have a memorial to honor the men and women who signed the dotted line, who saw combat, who never came home to their families. We are last. For some, that may not feel good. It doesn't feel good to me as a born and raised Huber Heights citizen. You now have the responsibility to remedy this by using that old adage, save the best for last. This is accomplished only by creating the great memorial that is needed. We can be last or we can be the city that all other cities envy. When discussing this, we've all heard about other memorials, Beaver Creek, Tip City, Vandalia, Centerville. Show the men and women of Huber Heights who said, this we'll defend our appreciation above every city we've looked at to do this. If not, the ideas of the new commission, this council, will only make us last and just like every other city. When HHVP embarked on this mission to finally bring a memorial to the city, it was for a pure purpose. As much as I want to express my full opinion on this entire ordeal tonight, I won't. I will simply ask that the city does not forget those who were willing to kill or die for us. I ask this council to make the location of the memorial, a perfect one. Not just a place 
that was mentioned by a council member or a few, but one that we can expand as those continue to defend.